very fine margin defeat. Yeah, I mean, the lads are um, good in there. Um, we're giving our all, as everyone can see, but the results just aren't going our way at the minute. And I think we'll stay together and hopefully the results will come. And very, very frustrating that having got the goal through your goal, you conceded so quickly afterwards. Well, yeah, of course, when you're behind and you get the goal back, obviously spirits are high. I think we can go on and maybe win the game, but obviously a lack of concentration within two minutes after, and we've conceded again from another set piece, which is disappointing. As a footballer, is it always worse to concede from a set piece? Um, well, from my personal point of view, to be honest, no, but obviously some people see our last three goals, they've all been from set pieces, so people will look at that, but to be honest, if you're conceding goals, you're conceding goals, they all mean the same thing at the end of the day. One bright spot for any Cheltenham fan this afternoon was your goal, talk us through it. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, Vaughan's picked up and driven side, I've just made an um, overlap around him, and he's tried to put me through, and it's dropped luckily, to be fair, and I've just, to be honest, I've just hit it and tried to hit the target, it's gone in the bottom corner. It was a terrific finish. Did you score many goals? It's only my second, so I'd have to say no. <laughs> when was your first? Uh, it was last season um, against Morecambe. So yeah, that was an alright finish as well. And at, at that time, though, you know, you looked at it and you thought it was uh, you can't hide, hide facts. It was the first shot on target for Cheltenham. You sort of thought, well, perhaps we might be able to get something here. Well, yeah, we know we've been um, struggling for goals at the minute, but as I say, everyone's working hard as a team. All we can do now is four games left. We just have to push each other and try and get um, some points. Can you put your finger on why the results aren't coming? Well, we're conceding goals and not scoring any. That's the bottom line. But obviously, I would have to say it's a bit of concentration, lack of concentration at key times of the game. Um, I would say it's not through lack of effort. All the boys are trying in there, so we just have to keep going. And what's the manager said to you? Obviously, he's disappointed, um, as we all are. He's trying to get the lads' heads up. Obviously, like I say, there's four games to go. We need to get wins. It's as simple as that now. Early, earlier in the season, when there was the last change of manager, there was a, a little brief of upturn in terms of results, just in terms of getting drawn to the occasion. Um, can you see a sight of an upturn in terms of results on the horizon? Well, I don't think we're too far away, so I'd like to think within these four games we can pick up the wins or results that we need to stay up. When you get a new manager, obviously the boys are always um, uplifted and obviously a lot of um, results sometimes do start to creep you away. At the minute, it's not been the best, but if we keep going, hopefully we can get the points. Four games to go, and it's a horrible statistic, but five successive defeats, but somehow you're still in it. Well, yeah, I mean, the others near the bottom have lost last week and this week as well, like we have, so... Hopefully our chance of staying up hasn't gone off not taking advantage of them losing as well. So we just got to hope we get the victory and obviously they can hopefully slip up again on Tuesday.